Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're trying to make My Blues Junior 4 sound like Martin's JTM by using the LPD pedal 68 stacked. <laughs> As you might have noticed, we've marked this video as sponsored content because Martin got a discount on the 68 stacked. If you want to get the full details about the discount and uh, Martin's relationship with Florence Petros from LPD Pedals, you can check out the separate video of the 68 stacked. First, let's talk about the gear we're using today. Obviously, we're using the Fender Blues Junior 4. It's stock, so it has a Celestian A-type speaker. We're using the new LPD Pedals 68 stacked. Yeah, and into my JTM we are using a original 68 mm -hmm. to compare the stacking when you have 68 stacked with two 68s into each other into the Blues Junior and the original 68 into a crunchy JTM. That's right. We're using two different guitars. We want to have uh, humbucker sounds and single coil sounds. For the single coil sounds we're using my um, Rode 160 Strat. And for the humbucker sound, we're using Martin's uh, 335 Gibson, and uh, both in the neck position. Now we're about to tweak all the stuff, so we get as close as we think as possible, and make our experience with this, and present you the final results. Mm.
So, what have we learned today? First of all, um, it was, uh, yeah, it was harder than we expected, to be honest. It took yeah. us much longer than we expected. And yeah, we were tweaking for about, or Martin and I both, we were switching positions. We were trying with the guitars and the amps and the pedals as well. We needed almost one and a half hours to get sounds that sound in the room comparable. And we had really problems uh, even getting in the room these sounds, especially due to the speakers. Um, we noticed a huge difference from where we're standing in the room, mm -hmm. especially with the Blues Junior. The yeah. Blues Junior, when we were just... Yeah, if you're walking by... One feet yeah. uh, or 30 centimeters uh, mm -hmm. next from the first position, it sounded completely different, so it was extremely difficult to get the sounds matching. And we also noticed this um, now that we've also heard now already the recordings, and we've also noticed that this might have been a problem for uh, the recordings as well. Yeah, because as you mentioned, when you slightly moved your head or when we slightly moved the mic, it sounded quite different. And we tried really by walking by. Uh, he was playing, I was walking by, and it, 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 it's a lot, a lot of travel, a lot of high end was, was lost when you were standing farther away. And, and this is also what we've experienced now after hearing the, uh, the recordings, actually. Yeah. We've lost a lot of high end on the Blues Junior side, while eventually also with the 2x12s, uh, mm -hmm. the JTM was retaining it more consistently in the room. Yeah. So, uh, this was... Yeah, a lesson learned. And yeah, the, the Martin already mentioned it, it's two different speakers. In the Blues Tuner there's uh, the Celestion A type and in the 2x12 cap, in the Harley Benton cap, there's uh, Vintage 30s. So there's also a big difference. Of course, the guitar reacts differently. We use the same setting for both guitars. On the Strat I just turned the tone down to about 5, because yeah. otherwise it was very bright sounding, or, uh, yeah. especially through the JTM. But what we've seen is that the stacking really behaves a lot like uh, the 68 in front of the JTM, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, we've set up the stacking 68, so the first one uh, in the chain into the second 68, mm -hmm. pretty much or totally the identical, identical yeah. as good as we can, uh, we've set them up uh, the same and pushed the 68. And the gain difference and everything, I think, was fairly similar. Also, uh, the behavior itself, the cleaning up of the sound uh, mm -hmm. when picking, was really close, in my opinion. Yeah. And we were just talking about making the sounds identical or make the Blues Juniors sound like the JTM. We have, uh, yeah, in all honesty, we liked both sounds. It just was different. It's just. It maybe is possible to make it sound identical, but you have to tweak a lot. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and you have to yeah, make up your mind if that's worth it. Well, the thing is, if you're not having them right next to each other... Yeah, it's not possible. It's not possible. No. Uh, we had them right next to each other, and even with switching, we thought, oh, we have it. Then we switched back to the other amp and there was a difference in EQ was settings or some yeah. EQ settings. We were mm -hmm. always tweaking EQ settings on one amp or another. And, and the pedals. And the pedals. Um, yeah, well, the pedal. Uh, basically, yeah. what we've tried to do is just one six. The six. first 68 yeah. in the stack that's closest, closer to the Blues Junior. Mm -hmm we tried to make it sound like the JTM, so mm -hmm. we were only tweaking that one pretty much and the idea was to use the second 68 in the stack exactly like we used this 68. Mm -hmm. And I think at least this we can say the stacking behaves a lot like the other. Yeah, that's true. So in conclusion, is it really possible? Hard to say. <laughs> Hard to say. I think if you're taking the time, have the amps next to each other, and you're tweaking... And ideally more similar speakers. More or similar speakers, The same yeah. speaker settings. Maybe if we would use the Blues Junior through the 2x12 cabinet, it would sound more... Yeah. 
more, yeah. more like the JTM in the in the base setting of the pedal. But yeah, that's we just wanted to use the stock Blues Junior because you don't have I guess most of you don't have a modded Blues Junior with vintage thirties. So, yeah. but you certainly get in the ballpark very mm -hmm. quickly. Yeah. That's the that's the other thing we've seen today is you're very quickly in this Marshall territory. Yeah. It sounds very similar, uh, quite fast um, with several settings, just to make them sound really identical next to each other mm -hmm. was, yeah, almost impossible. That's true. I think that's a great conclusion for today's video. You can really make the Blues Junior sound like a Marshall with the 68 stacked. It's a great pedal. We really like the sound of it. And yeah, maybe we will do another video in the future, in a couple of uh, weeks or months, where we really look at the Blues Junior and the 68 stacked and just get uh, try to get the best possible sound with the pedal and the amp as a the amp as a pedal platform. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in chats and in our premieres of our videos. And see you till the next time. See you. Bye.